Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, what I'm going to do for you is, while we're in quarantine, we're all looking for things to watch. So, I decided to put together a quick little list of 10 things you should watch while in quarantine with your family. Um, like I said in a couple of my past reviews, this is going to be the first of a couple of top 10s that are going to come this week. I have nothing else to do. This is keeping me busy. Um... So basically how this is going to go is I'm going to show off the movie and then give a quick synopsis. Um, I'm going to try and figure, tell you where to find most of these movies, but a few of them you're not going to be able to find on any streaming services. So if you have the means, go out and go buy a digital copy of it off of Amazon or Microsoft or Movies Anywhere and uh, go from there. But most of these are actually on a streaming service. So without further ado, let's get into this. Two honorable mentions today. If it's Christmas time and you're looking for something to watch, I highly recommend How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Such a fun movie. Um, Jim Carrey is very weird in his performance. It's, it borderlines on the creepiness factor. Um, on top of that, Max the dog, absolutely adorable. And Cindy Lou, who is wonderful. Anthony Hopkins narrates the movie, so that's always A+. Plus. So that's just a quick honorable mention. One last honorable mention, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. So we've got Dr. Peter Bankman. I was looking for a prop for this and was looking around my shelves and realized I don't really have any non- Star Wars or non-Marvel or non-horror themed things, except for a Ghostbuster. So, um, Harold Ramis, Bill Murray, Sigourney Weaver, all wonderful. Rick Moranis, what a great movie this is. Um, I would recommend it more for like a Halloween type era. Um, it is rated... PG, but it's 1980s PG, so it borderlines on the um, more PG-13 level, but what are you going to do? It's still a great movie, and one I remember my parents showing me many years ago, and being absolutely terrified of it until I realized it was a comedy. So, Ghostbusters, what can I say? Now, moving on to the top 10, these are in no particular order whatsoever. Um... They're mainly here to just serve, just to get you out there. There's a few Disney movies and a few no, more, more so non-Disney movies. So we're going to start off the list with two that I don't own. Number one is Space Jam. So Space Jam is quite an interesting Looney Tunes live action movie from the 90s. It stars um, Michael Jordan. I think. Pretty sure it's Michael Jordan. I haven't watched this in many years. Somebody brought it up to me. I'm very thankful for them for reminding me. I believe this is also on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, go check out Space Jam. Um, you can also find the sequel, Looney Tunes Back in Action. Not as great. But Space Jam is wonderful. It blends real life people like basketball legend Michael Jordan with Bugs Bunny. And what it is is aliens come down to Earth to take out the planet, and the only way they know how to do so is to play basketball. What a what a wonderful premise. I'm actually going to skip the, la the second one I don't own until the very end. Next up, Aladdin. This is my personal favorite Disney movie of all times. Number one, you have the greatest Robin Williams performance, and you can't change my mind, in The Genie. And... Jasmine and Aladdin have a very nice chemistry together, and their relationship feels very believable. Of course, it's an animated movie, so how are you not going to do that? But And you also have the world's best evil villain, Jafar. This is an absolute classic. Of course, you can find this on Disney Plus if you really want to watch it. If you have Disney Plus, I highly recommend Aladdin more than any Disney movie out there. And you'll see that there's two more Disney movies on this list that are at the same quality. Speaking of, we have next up The Lion King. 
Matthew Broderick as Simba. So you got Ferris Bueller as Simba. And it's it's really a phenomenal movie. Very groundbreaking. A wonderful Elton John uh, soundtrack. Need I say more? If you have not seen The Lion King somehow, I mean, I can imagine people don't watch Aladdin all that much. But The Lion King, I know everybody has seen. You may not have seen the live action remake. That's fine. It's a shot for shot remake. But this is an all time movie classic if you have not seen it. Uh, Scar is another one of those ultimate Disney villains that are just mind blowingly evil. Uh, a lot of Nazi propaganda type deal going on there, but what are you going to do? It's a kid's movie. You can't stop it too much. Next up, Toy Story, the original 3D animated Pixar movie. Interestingly enough, they chose toys because, as you probably guessed by the look of Sid, doing uh, drawing humans on this 3D, they weren't at the peak that they are now. So they went with toys, and what a great movie. Tim Allen and Tom Hanks are just absolutely wonderful. Throw into that mix just so many other. Don Rickles, Wallace Shaw, Jim Varney, Randy Newman's score. This is an excellent movie. Another one that if you somehow have not seen it, go watch it. It's on Disney+. Plus. Um, all, all, all four Toy Story movies and a whole bunch of other spin-off type deals are on there. Go watch all four of them if you have the time. Next up, a movie I've already covered, The Lego Movie. If you follow my Instagram, you know that I've already covered, reviewed, and ranked, as of last night, The Lego Movies. I'm recommending this one over the other three. This is the original classic Lego Movie very, very good. Chris Pratt is wonderful, and Will Arnett is just what saves that movie more than anything. I absolutely think he's the best Batman from an animated standpoint. Now, live action, of course, everyone has their opinions, and I'll get to mine in a few weeks. A little foreshadowing. But, if you have not seen the Lego movie, go watch it. Um, I don't know what it's on. I don't think it's on anything. Um, but it, it's it's probably very cheap right now. Next up, a Steven Spielberg classic, E.T. First of all, it stars Henry Thomas, who, if you follow my Instagram, played Jack Torrance in The Shining, or uh, not The Shining, The Shining sequel, Doctor Sleep. He's pretty great at it, too, nowadays. Looks just like Jack Nicholson. Um, but this was his breakout role in a little film about an alien who comes to Earth. And I'm just realizing I actually have an E.T. prop, too, in the form of a little Lego minifigure. Oh, well. Um, I haven't watched this in a few years, and I'm actually covering it in about two weeks, three weeks. I'm, I'm very excited to talk about this movie. It's one I, I watched the other night after not watching it in a year and I was very happy with what I remembered from it. So if you have not seen this movie, please definitely go watch it. Um, once again, I don't know what it's on, but I do know I looked it up last night on Microsoft Store. It was like 10 bucks. I, I think I got this DVD at Best Buy for like 11 so who knows. Next up, one I picked up at Target a few years ago for $5.00. Back to the Future. If you have not watched this Robert Zemeckis and Steven Spielberg classic starring Mar uh, Marty McFly. Marty McFly is played by Michael J. Fox and Dr. Emmett Brown is played by the wonderful Christopher Lloyd. And for those of you who saw my Howard the Duck review, Leah Thompson from that movie is also in Back to the Future as Marty's mom. Yes, it's a story about a guy who goes back to the future, or back to the past, and, like, slightly hits on his mom and takes her to the dance, and then when they come back, they don't realize, hey, our son looks just like this guy that we went to school with for a total week. But, but, recently, someone who worked on the movie came out and said, hey, you know, they didn't really think about it because he was only there for a week. 
go back and think about all the people who were in your high school for a week. Do you remember them? And I had to say, no. No, I don't. So, Back to the Future, great movie, great time travel movie. It's it's another one that borderlines like Ghostbusters on that PG, PG-13 border. But it's the 80s, so it was ranked PG. Um, I still think you should watch it with your kids. I know I watched it at a young age and definitely didn't pick up on any of that kind of weirder stuff that's hidden in the background. Next up... Another classic movie done by Robin Williams and probably another one of his best performances, Mrs. Doubtfire. I've watched this movie a hundred times. Um, so first off, you've got Robin Williams playing a man who who's, gets divorced from his wife and then pretends to be a woman so that he can nanny his children after school. Throw in Pierce Brosnan into that mix. Yes, James Bond's Pierce Pierce. Br Excuse me, I am like fluttering. Pierce Brosnan. You've got a classic, classic comedy. So quickly moving on from there, this is one that surprised me. Not gonna lie, I had heard about it and then I bought it because people kept saying it's probably one of the best movies I think it was like 2017 and I have to admit I'm right there with them Kubo and the two strings Charlie Theron and Ralph Fiennes and Matthew McConaughey um if you haven't seen this I understand it's, it's one of those Leica films, like uh, Box Trolls and Last Year's Missing Link. But Leica, when they come out with these movies, they come out with some surprisingly good movies. Um, I haven't watched it in a couple of months, so the plot is sort of escaping me. But I do know it centers around Kubo here trying to get the last piece of her father's armor. Um... To defeat evil yeah it's kind of a goofy gimmick but it's such a powerful movie in my mind finally we are going to talk about the last movie on the list the og classic nightmare on elm street oh man if you have not seen the nightmare on elm street um yeah i know this has all eight nightmare on elm streets from the first one all the way up to freddy versus jason I'm kidding, of course. I would never recommend you watch A Nightmare on Elm Street with your kids unless they're like 16. Totally, totally joking. The final one is a prince is the Princess Bride. Yeah, this is serious. The Princess Bride was one we watched a lot in Scouts. Our Scoutmaster loved this movie. He could quote it, and now I find myself quoting it constantly. Whenever Honestly, when, when I get married, I hope someone starts with marriage. That's what that's what I want to hear when I get married. Okay, I don't want any priest up there going on about anything. I want to hear that speech. That's right. So, Inigo Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. You know, again, it's another one of those that borderlines on the PG-13 line of pg but man, is this movie an absolute classic if you have not seen it. I remember hating it because we watched it so much. But now looking back, I'm like, oh, that's an absolute classic. So there you have it. There are my 10 movies you should watch with your family. Now, yes, like I said, I am going to do a top 10 horror. And you can bet you're actually going to see A Nightmare on Elm Street there. Um, On this one, no, you're not going to see it. So... Um, if you have any other top 10s you want to see, I'm totally open to doing like top 10 Disney movies, top 10 non-Disney animated movies, top 10 sci-fi, what have you. Um, and in the future, I'm going to do all of the Star Wars movies, but I need social distancing to end so my friend can be here. I promised him he could be on it, and I'm totally down for this. Um, 
So he's going to come over. We're going to sit down. We're going to review all the Star Wars movies. I'm going to rank them. And then I'm going to tell you which ones I definitely recommend. So that's Star Wars. And then a couple of Disney movies I might rank. The ones I do next week for Disney week. So until that, I am Luke. And I will see you guys later.